We are at the Woodbury Commons. We're getting ready for a trip that we're going to be going on Monday. We're not going to tell you where we're going. We're going to keep it a surprise till we get there. I think you already know. But uh, yeah, we need to get some stuff for the trip. So I'm out with Mikey Mike da -da -da. and Chrissy Chris. So yeah, we're going to walk around and get what we need. Easier than this on a weekend. You having fun, Chris? Not really. We're getting some exercise in. trip has been a success. The boys got what they were looking for. They wanted some tank tops. Check out these kids. Too much talent. Watch where you're going. We're walking around. The boys want some pretzel bites. So we're gonna see if we can find a pretzel shop here. And then, uh, yeah, see where, what else we end up doing today. Oh, sorry, buddy. All right, this appears to be the new food court. There's got to be a pretzel place in here somewhere. McDonald's, Dad. McDonald's. Snacking on some Mickey D's. You guys having fun? Take it out. So we are en route back to our truck. We've walked a ton. The kids got what they wanted. They wanted some tank tops. I got myself two pairs of jeans. Christopher's exhausted. He's man on a mission, hooking it back to the truck. Mikey over here is pretty tired looking too. But all in all, it was a, a pretty good experience. Can't complain. There's our chariot awaiting us. So there you have. 
have it folks, our quick trip to the Woodbury Commons. Really wasn't that quick, we've been walking around for a couple hours. But we did get what we came for, which is awesome. So we're gonna get buckled up and we're gonna head back over to the house and see what Mama Drew wants to do. Okay, so we are in the truck. Ready to go, I got my new tank top on. Awesome. Had a great, we had a great time. We had a blast, all buckled up and ready to go. So we get back from the commons and we find out that the house blew a fuse. I don't know if any of you remember the old style screw in glass fuses, but the house that we live in is pretty old. It was made in the early 1900s and it doesn't have circuit breakers, it has fuses. So during these hot summer months when we have an air conditioner going and it only seems to happen if the ACs are running and someone uses the microwave. The microwave is enough to pop the fuse and then I have to run to Home Depot to buy in a, some new fuses because I can't just reset the circuit breaker because it doesn't exist. So one of the downsides to living in an old house, I totally love the house that we live in. I just hate its electrical system. I thought I had a fuse. Mikey boy over here was insisting that we didn't. Lo and behold, Mikey boy over here was right and I was wrong. All right, so we are walking into the Home Depot. Gotta find these fuses. I know they have them, so here we go. Okay, so we need... These are the dinosaur turds I'm looking for. It's like six bucks. So Operation Home Depot was a success. The guy at the self-checkout was super chatty. Which is cool, you know, normally they look at you like you're trying to steal everything, but this guy was like actually pretty cool about it and wanted to talk, so of course I'm in a rush though. So we are now en route to the Monroe Theater. We're gonna go check out Finding Dory. Looking forward to it. Pixar movies are normally pretty fun no matter what age you are. So yeah, a little bit of a rush want to get there with a little bit of time to kill so we're not late but like I said we have to make that quick pit stop for those archaic fuses for the house or else we have no power in our bedroom and like half the house so luckily they have one package left of the ones that we needed and I scooped them up so we are at the Monroe Theater a lot of controversy with this movie theater. Yep. But luckily, it's open and we get to go there. Yay! So we got a parking spot literally right, right outside. That We've rock, been looking forward to that this rock movie star parking. For a while. We're gonna go get some tickets, some snacks, popcorn, some seats, Twizzlers. and we're gonna enjoy the show. We'll see you guys when we're done and we'll let you know what we thought. We'll give you our what review. We think. All right, so we just finished up in that movie. Mm -hmm. It was a lot longer than I expected, yeah. but it was really it good. It was really The cute. story was awesome. Yeah, it was, really it was well executed. Good job, Disney Pixar. I think I almost so. I could even say I liked it better than Finding Nemo. Maybe it's just because it's been but a while since come, I had the first awe of with, Finding Nemo, but it, it was really with, good. Yeah, it was definitely Daddy a good movie. Come with Sully, Buzz. <laughs> But, yeah, there's no Sully or Buzz, but... It's pretty <laughs> late now. It's after 10 o'clock. Mm. We got to get the kids to bed. So we're going to end the vlog now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave us a comment down below. And do not forget to subscribe. <laughs> Till next time, folks. God bless. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Actually, I almost forgot. We got to go put this thing in all right so we are down in the belly of the beast this is the creepy old box and this is what we got to work with 
So it is this guy right here that is blown. We're going to replace it. Just like that. Now we'll close this up. Turnbull Electric Ancient. We're exploring the Tesla store. The boys are having a blast. 